Hello there, viewers. It's Adventure Link here. A hey, got a question for you. You ever get on a toilet and it sounds like this? No matter how much it's, you think it's full. Well, I'm gonna probably try to tackle one of these things for you. So stay tuned because I'm gonna show you guys how to replace this inlet valve on your toilet. This is an American Standard. See, it says American Standard. Great, it says Fiat. Fix it again, Tony. <laughs> but in any case, first thing you want to do is come down to your water source, shut it off, flush the toilet. Yeah, because that's at least a gallon or two of water in this tank, and when you open this down here, it's going to go all over the place. And the next thing you want to do is you want to come down here. There's this, um, the hose here. You want to undo the hose. Or you want to try to undo the hose anyway. Right, you want to grip this. Make sure you grip it nice and good. Turn it to the left. Ah, darn it. Yeah, be careful of the extra water there. Then there's this little fastener up here. This little plastic fastener. Turn that counterclockwise. Make sure you keep this hose up too because there's water in that hose. So yeah, next you'll remove this uh, top lid here of the tank. See that? There's some water in here. Gotta try to get rid of this water or catch it somehow. Cause it's gonna go all out when I un undo this tank valve here. Now with pretty much all this water out of here, you'll undo this from inside this little pipe here. Bring it out, boom. As Taraz Cole would say, boom. Tuck this off to the side for now or just remove it. That's fine too. At the bottom of the fill though, there's a shank washer. You'll fit it on here and simply screw it up until you get to the top. Pretty much all you gotta do to it or try to see if you can push it up like this, that's fine too. Ta -da! See where it says that's CL? Where it says CL, this has to be at least an, about an inch above this overflow tank here. So to adjust that, you turn this bottom part of the shank here with your hand, you know, clockwise, counterclockwise, so you get it right. Just like that. Although I do believe it was fine like where it was here, so I'll go with this. If not, I can just come back and fix it, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Here's a decent reference point right here. All I gotta do is make sure the height lines up like this or a little higher. Again, I can always just fix this if I need to. Next thing you do is remove this um, fill cap up here. It's the blue piece. You'll just hold the Fill valve like this, then use your right hand to pop that pop that cap off. Real quick, here's a diagram to install the fill valve. Do not use Plutty's plumber to seal the fittings. If you need a moment to read over this, feel free to pause the video. But as you saw, we had the vinyl braided connector, so that's how we're going to install our new fill valve. Then after you get it installed, there's the two ends on the hose here and here. Put one end on the gray part here, put the other end on your overflow pipe, then you secure it with your little blue hose clamps, and to move this water saver here, you'll just turn the dial up and down to make it move up and down. Try to keep it at about the center, though. Something a little like this, but I'll go up a little more. Push this up a little more. There, that looks good. Please make sure you um, secure your water line properly into the new fill valve and put a cup or something over this over this uh, overflow here where the water comes out at. Then you turn the water on, leave it run for a little bit, then you turn it off and let it run a couple more times like that to check for leaks. Not the leak when I tried it the first time, so I guess we're good, but I still gotta do this a couple more times. <laughs> then from there, you wanna put the little blue cap back on Pulka looks just like this. Again, keep checking for leaks. If there are leaks, make sure that your lock nuts, washers, 
and your water connection source down there are tight and nice and good. Now you let the water sit, and as long as it sits, hey, for what it's worth, it's fixed. Yay! Unfortunately, the water level is about halfway full, I suppose. So the next thing you got to do is take the screwdriver, turn it clockwise to raise the water level, or turn it counterclockwise to lower the flow. So I got to keep going. I'm going higher now. I got to keep going. I guess a good benchmark is once I get to the rough spots or just underneath underneath this here, I guess we're good. All right, I guess it's about the highest it's going to go. I think it's at about this high. Oh, well, as long as it's not overflowing past this, and this is not going and costing me money on my water bill, we're good. Now it's time for the flush test. One last leak check. All uh, right, then. I got to make sure it's turned the correct way. All right, good. Just fill in leaks, but just in case, if you have like a pliers or a channel lock or something, like a monkey wrench, pipe, plumber's wrench, you can probably try to tighten that lock nut down farther. I got it hand tight. And that's holding pretty good. Well, I guess I got it up too high or something. Never mind, I just checked that it's going up. I just rage stopped this before I could um, analyze this any further. Oh well, that's the beauty of these unscripted YouTube videos. I make the mistakes that you don't have to. I'm slowly getting there. Yay! Or is that a pirate minigame shop guy one where would say, Yay! Hooray! Yay! So it's fixed. Yeah. So that's that's it. That's how you um, fix your toilet by replacing this fill valve like this or upgrading from the old ball style float to this in your toilet. Now we gotta go wrap this up. Okay, so as we um, wrap this video up, on a rather windy and going to be somewhat rainy pie day. <laughs> 314, get it? <laughs> pie day. Now I want to talk about the shop a little bit. Eh, wasn't too bad. I'd say it's like easy, medium. If you're going to upgrade from the old ball style to the new automatic style, there might be some adjustments you might have to make. Fortunately, I was rather lucky enough to have an automatic style in there so I can use the old float as reference. <laughs> and yeah, raid quits. They stink. But, at least my toilet don't go and don't cost me money anymore on my water bill. Of course, some other common causes of that would be, you know, if you had a leak in your tank, if your flapper was gone bad, and or if the little seal that sits on top of the flapper, if that went sour, that'll do it. Of course, if you have the old ball style floats, you know, if the ball ain't playing nice, which I hate those things, those things suck. And I much rather like the automatic ones better. Just saying, new personal bias. <laughs> so, yeah. Now I don't have to overhaul the toll like I did last time. Save my dad some money. Yeah. As I stand out here in front of my uh, new place of quarters here, if you take my meaning. Just want to say, I'll venture link. And uh, make sure you connect all your water sources so you don't end up like this. Don't make the same mistakes I did. I make the mistakes so you don't have to. But in any case, wet, dry, snowy, whatever. All the same, I appreciate you for watching my videos. Thank you for watching. Fast Resident Future, thanks for your support. Special thanks goes out to KY Lay on Facebook, aka KY on Patreon, for being a patron. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, etc., please drop them down in the YouTube comments below this video. Otherwise, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, family, other home improvement enthusiasts, DIYers, etc. And as always, if you never want to miss a video from me again, what do you do? You gotta ring that bell!
Social media, medical bill donation links are in the video description. Please consider donating. Please consider following me on social media. Check it out. Any amount helps out. And as Gay and the Graver say, it helps keep this channel and myself alive and undead. And we're going to sign off with the wide words of wisdom from Eric Dakar. I remind you guys to be safe, have fun, and of course, stay dirty. And don't stay wet. That might make you sick. And as Eric O would say, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Take care.